Greetings citizens of the world. Throughout history the world has been controlled by big ideologies such as religion, socialism and capitalism to name but a few. These are all forms of slavery that have stopped our evolution and removed our freedom. Anonymous see these ideologies for what they are. Systems of control. The time for change is now. No longer shall the people be oppressed by corruption. In case you are blissfully unaware of who we are, let me tell you this. We are not just a person. As people die, we are an idea. And ideas are immortal. We are justice. And justice cannot be silenced. We are the ones governed by no law. We are the ones who do not beg for justice to take its course. We are the ones your parents warned you about. We are the voice of the silent in the eyes of the blind. We are Anonymous. The tendency to relate past events to what is possible in the present becomes more difficult as the scope of the geopolitical environment changes. It is a useful thing, then, to ask every once in a while if the environment has recently undergone any particular severe changes, thereby expanding our options for the future. Terminology, let alone our means of exchanging information, has changed to such a degree that many essential discussions in today's communications age would be entirely incomprehensible to many two decades ago. As the social, political and technological environment has developed, some have already begun to explore new options, seizing new chances for digital activism and more will soon join in. It is time for the rest of the world to understand why. Everywhere you look the world is suffering. Wars of aggression. Companies dumping toxic waste everywhere. Governments supporting the poisoning of our water. One third of the world goes hungry, while the other two thirds throws away the third of their food. We are digging up all the coal and oil of our planet instead of researching renewable methods. Governments and corporations constantly lie, kill, and extort the entire planet's population just for profit. Where in America do the richest 1% have 42% of the money? You shouldn't have to be convinced that the system we live under must come to a stop. If you want to alter the course that we're on, there's only one way to do it. We need to wake up that public. Even the most powerful weapons of war are neutralized. If you reach the mind of the man behind the trigger, how do we wake the masses you ask? Don't wait for someone to answer that for you. Get creative. Act like your children's and grandchildren's futures depend on it. Because they do. No one wants to believe that their kids are going to live under a military dictatorship. No one wants to see this coming. So most people put their head in the sand and do their best not to think about it. Those who don't always begin with one question. What can we do? The first thing you need to understand here is. Our problem is psychological, not material. You have the means to take back your power. And you don't need a set of specific instructions. You don't need someone to hold your hand and explain your role. You don't need someone to give you permission. Are you going to push this out of your mind because it's uncomfortable? Or are you going to convert that discomfort into a driving force? No one can make that choice for you. I will tell you this much Bo. If that thought itches in the minds of enough people, we will figure out a way to scratch it. And if that driven feeling is fully established in your heart, you will find a way to make it spread. The odds don't matter anymore. If you understand what we are facing, then you have a moral responsibility to do everything in your power, to alter the course that we're on, regardless of the odds. It's only when you stop basing your involvement on the chance of success, that success actually becomes possible, to strip the ill-gotten power of the financial elites and to bring these criminal cartels to justice, will require nothing less than a revolution. The government is not going to save us. The government is completely infiltrated and corrupt to the core. Looking to them for help is completely arrogant.
we have to actively work to wake up as many people as possible, about what is happening and the direction we are heading. All revolutions originate from a shift in the mindset of the population, and no other meaningful resistance is possible without it. When an idea hits critical mass it begins to spread on its own and spreads to all levels of society. We need more people in this fight. We need more people speaking up, making videos, writing articles, getting this information onto the national and international stage. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. We decided long ago that the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment of pertinent facts far outweighed the dangers which are cited to justify it. And there is very grave danger that an announced need for increased security will be seized upon by those anxious to expand its meaning to the very limits of official censorship and concealment. That I do not intend to permit to the extent that it's in my control. For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence, on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections, on intimidation instead of free choice, on guerrillas by night instead of armies by day, it is a system which has conscripted vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. No expenditure is questioned, no rumor is printed, no secret is revealed. Yeah.